Hello Sagittarius, any placement of Sagittarius, this is going to be your reading for March 1st through the 15th, 2022. Welcome back subscribers, welcome if you are new. The link below to my website, I offer clairvoyant psychic readings and healings as well as distance energy therapy. I've been a full-time master healer uh, for clients globally for the last four years, so it does not matter where you live. I offer a 15% discount for your very first session as well. All right, let's get you an overall energy. Sagittarius, you've got the fox spirit. Think on your feet. Mm, moving quickly. I'm also noticing all the fiery uh, colors and energy on this card. So uh, I would say things are picking up for you, Sagittarius, and you're going to need to make decisions quickly um, in the flow, in your connection with spirit and your intuition. And um, those decisions that you make quickly are going to be right in alignment with what you need. Um, and I'm hearing that message because if you're stopping to think about a decision, then the logic and the mental energy is getting in the way. So the Fox Spirit is really asking you to flow with your intuition and your spiritual energy um, right now. Okay, let's see what else we've got for you. First row is all Sagittarians. Second row is your specific person, you and your specific person. What do we need to know? Third row is for singles. All right. Okay, first up, we've got Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the World card. Um, this is beautiful, Sagittarius. I feel like you're really coming into the completion of a cycle. The world card is bringing some sort of a cycle um, to a close. This can be a karmic cycle. This can be a growth cycle within yourself. With the nine of pentacles, there's a lot of self-sufficiency here. So you're feeling really good with where you're at, within yourself, within your work, within your health, within the abundance in your lifetime. You may have been very focused on your own goals and what you've been working on. And I'm also seeing here with the Queen of Cups that love is very available for you. Either you're very available to give love um, or you're very available to receive it or both. So as an overall energy, this is saying that because you are really coming into this wholeness and this completeness within yourself, that the love and the emotional connection and fulfillment is going to be much more available for you. Now, this um, emotional fulfillment and love can be speaking to the work that you do, the place that you live, the friends that you have. So it's not necessarily romantic, but I'm seeing just a big heart opening for you in regards to um, just feeling more love in your whole life and all areas of your life. And it's because you've been doing the work and the world card is really kind of confirming for you that you're coming to a very whole and complete, beautiful place within yourself. And when we feel that way, it's much easier to um, be happy, be joyful, give and receive love on all different levels. So beautiful work, Sagittarius. All right, next up, you and your specific person. All right, your specific person here. We've got Queen of Wands, Five of Cups, and Seven of Wands. So really interesting, the energy of you is very expansive, but the energy of your specific person, I'm almost seeing like you've outgrown them in a way, or you may be outgrowing them, um, or they're just not doing the work to kind of grow with you or to step up to the plate. Um, I'm seeing their energy very much stuck in the past, maybe stuck on um, challenges or hurt or things that have happened between the two of you and they're so distracted by the past that they're missing the actual connection with you. They're missing the opportunity with you. They're missing the love that can be there. So your specific person does have quite a bit of resistance here around um, forgiveness. I'm hearing forgiveness. Um, they may have some grudge energy or they're holding on to things that really are a little bit heavy and not supporting them. So your specific person needs a little bit of a change of perspective so that they can release some of this and meet you where you are because your energy is expanding and theirs is feeling quite stuck. 
Um, but on one level, I feel that you kind of recognize this Sagittarius because I'm seeing your energy here as the queen of wands and you're almost at a point where you're not willing to give energy into this relationship anymore that you're ready to receive, you're ready to allow, you're ready for them to step up and kind of take the lead or take action for this bond, for this connection. And I'm really proud of you for doing that because it is needed. Otherwise, I see you just giving and giving and giving. And because of where this person is at, they're not moving through what they need to in order to grow with you. So you'll be giving into something that isn't capable of giving back to you right now. So pulling back your energy a little bit and allowing them to sort themselves out is going to be really, really important. Um, and uh, one message that I'm seeing too is the connection is still there. The love is still very much there between you and your specific person, but it's a little bit out of access right now. Um, they're not able to see it. They're not able to connect into it right now because their focus is in the wrong place. And that is something that you can't fix, that you can't help. This really is on them, what I'm hearing. So the more you can keep your focus on you and being in, you know, the place that you need to be within yourself, the universe will do the rest. It will do the work around your specific person of what is best for both of you. So think on your feet, trust your intuition with this. Don't get too caught in the mind and the mental energy about your specific person. Really trust how you're feeling in your body and the intuitive messages that you're getting around this connection. Okay, you could be dealing with a water sign, um, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. I've also got other fires. So if it's not another Sagittarius, it could be um, a Leo or an Aries. All right, those of you who are single, we've got Three of Cups, Five of Wands, Ace of Wands. So I do see somebody new coming in for you, Sagittarius, here with the Ace of Wands. This could also be you offering yourself out to date, to get to know. With the energy of the Three of Cups here, I'm seeing that um, this can be a little more casual or it hasn't quite um, gotten to a commitment yet. So with the Three of Cups, it's a lot of like social energy, spending time with friends, being out and about. Um, you could be meeting somebody through friends or um, through being out and just being in a more social energy. Um, but the Ace of Wands here is an opportunity coming in for you. So you could have another fire sign coming in for you, another Sagittarius or a Leo or an Aries. Um, Five of Wands here is another message coming back to be be aware of where the thoughts are because to me this is always kind of like chaotic thinking it's like wasted mental energy so let go of putting too much thought into the dating process and a message for you is to really trust your intuition think on your feet feel your way through things especially when this ace of wands comes in for you this new opportunity you may want to just be friends or you may want to just keep it casual. You may want to be dating multiple people at once and all of that is okay as long as you are honoring yourself and what you want and need right now. That is kind of like the overall message for you, Sagittarius, is to really honor yourself right now. All the rest will fall into place. Okay, let me see what else I've got for you. Okay, interesting. We've got the friendship card. So that has showed up twice for you. So focusing on your friends, being social, being out and about is really important for you, Sagittarius. Um, it's going to help you to not get caught up in the mind, right? You're going to be flowing and connecting with people that you care about, people that you enjoy being around. And that is how these other messages and clarity will come through for you. Um, I'm also seeing because of your expanded heart energy, you're going to want to spend time with friends, want to spend time with family or people who you're close with because it's just going to feel really good right now. Okay, let me get you a spirit animal message and then we'll wrap up the reading. Whoop, there it is. I love it when they jump out like that. You've got the unicorn, infinite possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. I told you, beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light, abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become extraordinary. Or excuse me, go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. I added my own words in there. <laughs> 
I love this for you, Sagittarius, because this is what we're talking about. It's not lowering yourself to meet somebody who is not doing the work. It's holding yourself where you're at and allowing people to rise up to meet you or for the universe to shift and move things and infinite possibilities here. This is similar to the think on your feet. Allow things to flow. There are no limits. Beauty transforms you. The magic of love surrounds you. Stay in your heart space. Stay in your heart energy, Sagittarius, and all good things will come. Really beautiful message. I hope that resonates with you. Um, you can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or really any other placement of Sagittarius. Thank you for the likes and subscribes. They really do make a difference. And if you missed the intro, I am a full-time master healer. I've been working with clients globally for the last four years. Um, I offer clairvoyant psychic readings and healings as well as distance energy therapy. So it does not matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. And the link below to my website, all the information is there for you. You can read about the benefits. Definitely check out the testimonials page. And I do offer a 15% discount off your very first um, session with me. So you can take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. All right, Sagittarius, I think that's it. I'm wishing you a beautiful start to March. And I'll see you guys back here for the second half of March readings. Take care.